Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussions around Rosemount's magnetic flow meter technologies. The last video we talked about the many advantages and where to use magnetic flow meters. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the limitations of the technology. Now the biggest limitation is the fact that we need a conductive fluid. That is critical for these applications. So any fluid that is not conductive, such as a gas for instance, or some oil-based products, is not gonna work with a magnetic flow meter. There are no ways around this. You need a conductive fluid because that is how the induced voltage is then generated when a magnetic field uh, is surrounding that conductive fluid. And so uh, that is a hard, fast rule um, above five microsiemens. Uh, next one is not really a limitation, more just a reality is that some of these big line sizes can be difficult to install, right? A four foot magnetic flow meter is going to be very big and very heavy. That's not to say that other technology at, at four foot line sizes is not also going to be big and difficult, uh, but it's just something more or less to be aware of. And, and I do think for some of the smaller line sizes, magnetic flow meters can be a bit heavier than some other technologies like some Coriolis flow meters or some DP flow meters, for instance. The next one is it does require five upstream and two downstream of straight run piping for optimal levels of accuracy. There are ways that we can completely reduce this to zero up and down with some impact on accuracy, but in general, it's five up and two down, which again, on these big line sizes, you might not have available if it's say a two foot or a four foot pipe. Uh, and then it is a four wire device. It does require separate power and signal. Uh, now that is the standard in industry, so it's not something specific to Rosemount, but just something to be aware of. And lastly, there are limited temperature ranges up to 350F, and that's because we have typically a plastic or a rubber liner on the internal of that magnetic flow meter. So beyond that, uh, you would melt that and then potentially also damage the electronics if it's intricately mounted like it is above me here. Should you have any questions about rose mounts, magnetic flow meters, or any other of our technologies, please reach out to us using the QR code on screen or www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.